Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a psychic tarot reading for you. I'm going to start with an oracle card. Actually, I'm going to well, we'll start with one and we'll see where we go. All right. So you have details, details, number 43 in reverse. Ghost lands, number 17 in reverse. And coming to life, upright. So what I'm getting here is um, not to get caught up in the details not to be focusing on the minutia and you're coming out of a, a period of being very isolated alone maybe where things weren't happening a ghost land and you're coming to life i like that for you that looks really good all right so, doing a psychic tarot reading for you, tuning in to general energies, whoever's watching, whenever you're watching. So, take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like a reading where I tune into your specific energies, your specific questions, there's a link in the description box below. It's been so much fun meeting so many of you in that one-to-one -one space. Um, by supporting me through readings, it allows me to continue to do these uh, free readings online. So thank you to all of you who I've seen in that one-on-one -on -one space. I'm looking forward to meet more of you in that one-on-one -on -one space, if you feel drawn. So, alrighty. Starting in the past, we have the Nine of Cups in Reverse. No blessings coming in. Maybe depression. I feel a real like nothing's going my way. I don't understand it. Um, my blessings are being blocked. I'm so unhappy. Nothing's going my way. This isn't what I planned. Those type of energies. Ooh, wow. Okay, so part of why the your blessings were being blocked was trying to solve things and control your environment instead of going within and finding your answers. It feels like you were constantly trying to fix people, situations in your environment. Uh, so operating under fear and control instead of a knowing and intuition. That's, it looks like that's how you were raised. Like, um... <laughs> by unhappy people parading, masking, and pretending to be happy. That's what I'm getting. Feels like from where you were in the past, that mindset, that depression, unable to find your answers, unable to go within, and maybe you didn't even know how. How do you go within? What's, what does that even mean? And it feels like everyone else is having fun. Everyone else, from your perception, from this dark place, it feels like everybody else loves each other. Everybody else is getting along. Everybody else is emotionally satisfied and ha finding lasting satisfaction. Surprisingly, that is not the truth of, of what was happening. It feels like people around you were better at masking 
their emotions. There's something about the way that people were going about finding love that um, and expressing love that was wasn't lasting. It's fleeting. That that's interesting. Feels like a mirage. Like it's not truthful it's um i feel like people they were lying you know what i'm getting here is um maybe even with the internet you know even before the internet just uh, trying to create an image that things are happy and fun but they aren't that's such an interesting beginning message. All right. That ghost land, ghost lands, the Oracle card, this feels like a ghost land that you were in. So depressed and unable to know, figure out how to shift this, how to, I'm so unhappy, chronically, unhappiness and chronic perception that everybody else gets it but I don't I don't understand this all right so in present energy we've got the two of pentacles juggling trying to make a decision about a direction trying to balance the resources, adaptation, resourcefulness, flexibility, stretching your resources. Love the little image of the little dog. Looks like my dog Chuck, my little bulldog. So I feel like you're being very clever about your finances and how to make them last. Um, figuring out how to have that bougie lifestyle on a uh, limited budget, something like that. <laughs> okay. So that definitely feels like you being resourceful, figuring out, figuring your stuff out. And then there's this energy. There's someone who's overly emotional, who's reactive, whose emotions gets the best of them. This might even be your energy as well. Um, it feels like as there's certain things coming to light and it, it uh, might very well overwhelm your emotions. And at the same time, this whatever this is, whatever is coming to light, it's emotional. It also clears up some type of mental confusion. Okay. Uh, and helps you come out of a nightmare. So this is something, an emotional response to something that is coming to light. And so um, I'm feeling like a, give yourself grace for feeling something very emotional, having an emotional response. It feels like as you're triggered, as these emotions are activated in your space, 
it allows you to see aspects of yourself that are still needing healing. And so as you have these big emotional responses, you can say, oh, wait a minute. That was a huge emotional response. I'm not going to try to push it down. I'm not going to try to ignore it. I'm not going to try to numb out and get away. I'm why, why am I having such a strong emotional response? This strong negative emotional response is alerting me that there's something ready to heal. There's something I'm ready to see in a different way. So whoever is the messenger of these emotional responses that create that trigger, that activation. You might be tempted to view them as the bad guy because they said something, they did something, and it created this huge emotional response within you. But instead, if you can realize that I feel like they purposely are trying to mess with you, but instead you've got a different way of viewing it. And what they triggered, activated, allows you to heal that, to release that and come out of a nightmare. All right, so who's this? Why do we need to know about this energy okay all right so i've got a separate little story here or it might be attached with this re what's coming to light it's around a third party um karmic third party energy is coming out of some type of grief this third party is mourning some type of loss and feeling that things are very unbalanced and unfair unjust a lack of fairness and uh, it feels like it's around this, um, around, I would say this is your ex, someone that you were connected with, someone who is emotionally, or someone who's unstable, someone who's, who paints a picture of being financially and being on top so this reminds me of this energy here in the past when you were really depressed and sad and no blessings were coming in and stuck in that space and everyone else is having fun and finding love and you're like what the heck i'm getting that that's in the past you were looking at this third party and your ex having fun and love or that was the perception that they were showing everyone but what's interesting is this third party is coming out of grieving why are they grieving something that's unbalanced and that um something that's unjust around your ex so some type of grieving grieving because something didn't go right they're not with your ex any longer what is it that we need to know about these energies why are they showing up
They can't move on. <laughs> that, okay, they're looking at you and how you're able, your resourcefulness. You've got this two of pentacles, your ability to just um, look bougie on a dollar. To You're able to balance your finances and be resourceful with what you've got. I feel like they're... At some point, they wanted to leave you with nothing. And somehow you've been able to rub two nickels together and create plenty for yourself. And so you're being seen, seen in the environment as nine of pentacles. I feel like the truth of the situation might be more like two of pentacles, being very resourceful, making your... Um, your money go the distance and but everybody else is seeing you as nine of pentacles very independent resourceful successful um and i feel like this is just you were meant to not be able to move on you were meant to not to be stuck um to not be able to have your ships come in and so it feels like what the third party is grieving is that things didn't go as planned that they they didn't get the outcome they wanted um i think because you disconnected from this couple the third party and the ex and focused on on you and moving forward and getting your own and but this is interesting it's it's next to this whole thing about something coming to light and being very emotional but it allows you to leave the nightmare anything more specific about what's coming to light and what's coming to light What's coming to light is uh, you're no longer sacrificing yourself, your values, your energy in connections. That um, no matter what anybody does to you, you're able to get out of tough spots. You're um, Teflon Don. You're <laughs> you just unstoppable uh I, I feel like they really did so much to try to stop you tried to block your blessings and make it impossible for you to go within and find your answers while they celebrated they celebrated um wow ouch they celebrated the punishment so it wasn't even that they just were so attracted and to each other part of the attraction was the destruction of you or the attempted destruction of you and painting a picture of we're amazing and you are just this loser <laughs> something like that and so in this present energy you you are two of pentacles you're figuring out how to work with your finances you're um learning how to work with your emotions you're coming off though as someone who's incredibly resilient that no matter what people try to do to you you still come out on top and that wasn't the plan and so that's part it wasn't just 
this connection between the third party and your ex wasn't just about love. It was also about revenge and punishing you and trying to keep you stuck. And so if it was just about love and they just moved towards each other in a loving way, that's one thing. But part of their attraction was trying to halt your progress. Maybe that's a new fetish. <laughs> or maybe this is old and biblical. <laughs> so, yeah, five of swords, trying to halt your progress from keeping you from healing, star in reverse, um, and keep you trapped in a nightmare, nine of swords. That's that was the plan. Keep you, keep bullying you, keep, keep you in the connection as someone like the dog they can kick around and punish. I don't feel like they, they, they thought that they could keep you around. I feel like the more you've left their energy, you've left talking about, left thinking about, like whatever, thank you for showing me who you are. And the more you've moved on, the more disappointing this has been for the people who who planned this. It's like um, they tried to write a script and direct it and they told all these lies and instead how you have responded to this and have this glow up is, um, is the truth. And it's making them look really bad. Wow. Yeah, indeed. Messages from your higher self is justice. Balancing karma. So this, this is justice. This is karma working. Um, what you put out, what you project out into the world is what you get back. So these people, this couple, it looks like they um, tried to block your blessings, keep you unable to heal, keep you in a, a nightmare and bully you. Bullying someone uh, bullies don't bully up. They bully down someone they that's um, somehow helpless because they're an easy target. And so you might have been an easy target in the past for this type of um, bullying. And so now, whatever all that is, whatever they did, it's coming back. They're receiving karma and you're receiving karma. Part of their karma is your glow up. To have to watch their plan not succeed. To watch you coming to life. They don't get any of the benefits. They have to watch from a distance, from a cheap seats. All right, no other messages coming through. Challenge, your challenge right now is king of pentacles. Your challenge is to stay stable, secure, abundant, prosperous, secure, safe, kind, protective, grounded your challenge is to stay grounded to, to to see yourself as that king of pentacles as very successful feels like you're building on that success you're building on that two of pentacles energy so 
even if things get tight financially or difficult, um, to remember that you are the king of you're the king of pentacles. Wow. Don't let your emotions, so it, in the present energy, there are things coming to light and it can be very difficult at times to work through your emotions. Again, I'm getting, don't let your emotions affect how you feel about your abundance. Interesting. So the, again, don't, it, it's like, don't be reactive. This might be also in the larger picture. I'm seeing, um, there might be, uh, in the grand scheme of things, in the collective, large scale financial woes, financial worries on a, on a large scale. And maybe the stock market's gonna take a dive. And what I'm getting here is just don't, Don't allow what's happening in the 3D to knock you off your block, to get you in your emotions. Stay calm, stay grounded. Everything changes. Yeah, there's also Wait, um, this feels like mother wound energy. Some of you, if you have a painful connection with your mother or you did have a painful connection, um, there's something challenging coming up. It looks like A new beginning around the mother wound, uh, a new beginning around forgiving, seeing your mother as um, someone who has been very stubborn and remained unable to create a new cycle unable to have a new beginning feels like a lot of jealousy competition punishment feel like you realize from this new beginning that you're having there's or having a new beginning because you you have this realization that um your mom's, maybe it was just some messed up chick, you know? She's your mom, but she's just kind of, um, I feel like you take your power back because as you take your power back, you look and you're like, take your power back from your mom and those mother wounds. And you're like, this is just someone who's sad, very sad and doesn't know how to deal with you know, I recognize that. I was really sad at the beginning of this reading and I didn't know how to go within. So maybe there's some compassion and grace as you start this new cycle. Just realizing, you know, 
instead of, she's my mom, and that big role instead, kind of like, she's a mom, but she's also a human. She's also kind of a messed up human. Um, and I picked up some of those toxic traits from her, but as I've released those toxic traits, we've had little less and less in common. I feel like her perseverance and stubbornness to remain in this mental way of perceiving that's not happy is part of what allowed you the desire to to change like she's not going to change so i've got to change i've got to let go of needing her to be something other than she isn't and it feels like a, that allows you to start a new cycle to realize that her stuff that she projected onto you and your connection with her doesn't have anything really to do with you other than what you've been holding on to and trying to make different about yourself and the connection feels like letting go of her needing her to be any different than how she is and seeing her as just another messed up human being who's sad and didn't know how to deal with her sadness and took it out on close connections. Um, it feels like a forgiveness, like a letting go, an ultimate like letting go. And by letting go, this lets go of um, where we started. Let's go of that nine of cups in reverse. Let's go of that depression. Let's go of anywhere you're matching Let's go of the idea that your blessings are blocked. Anything that says that your blessings aren't coming in, that you can't receive your blessings. Yeah, there's, I feel like this mother wound is around not being able to have blessings, not to able to be successful. Um, in a real lasting way. And so, yeah, you, you let go. Beautiful, all right? That's your reading. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little singing bowl just to allow, if you've had anything that's been activated in your space by this reading, triggered, activated and you can kind of feel it like yes that's my reading oh that, that. So let's just invite whatever's been activated to release and to bring in your own energy bring your energy back just those intentions while tuning into the tuning bowl this was your reading don't forget to like and follow and any comments you want to share I read them all thank you so much bye